Let us begin. You're not in class anymore? That's wonderful. You know, I always say this when people reference uh, school. I am so glad I'm not in school anymore. So glad. Um, just in case. Wait, no. Actually, yeah. Uh, you're gonna want to be in the party. I already know, so we're just not going to waste any time with that. Um, make sure he's up to snuff here. All right, so he's like a battle mage for me. Anyway, we have no more EP cuts, huh? I'll give you Seraphic Ring. I know we got a cast three in here. That's a plus, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely a plus. Uh, he has a storm bell for some reason. I don't know why. Let's give you... A silver bell. And I don't see you, um... the front lines at all. The Recuria. Let's go with that. Just in case, you know, they force him into my party for some crazy reason. Hey Gotta be prepared for that stuff. There! Let's wipe him out! It's mine! My turn! My turn. Let's go! It's down! An opening! Yeah, we can auto battle the rest. Well, I shouldn't auto battle the rest. Damn it! Almost yeah. dead. Not today. Right. It's my turn. I'm afraid these guys have uh, crazy attacks. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Do oh, did we right, win? We A matter of course. Aeolus Saber 2. I guess it's been a while since uh, Yusus has been with the squad. I think Yusus is uh, decent. He has some uh, really nice defensive crafts. There! They're in disarray! Now! It's mine! My turn! What are these guys called? Nyarlathothep. Yes! Interesting. Arcus, activate! Very well. It's down! An opening! Alright, these guys should be dead. An opening! There! Oh. An opening! Very dead now. <laughs> Good work, everyone. Okay, that's a good one to get to level 10. You know, I, I didn't think I would actually get... Uh, Master Quartz to level 10. I've skipped a lot of fights. Brandon, you know, Ooh, I, felt pretty good. 
Oh, there. hello, friend. This one might be worth my time. This guy looks crazy. This guy looks crazy, man. One of the coolest enemies we've seen in this entire game. Let's treat him with some respect. Uh, yeah! Let's uh, go. I forget, Symir, if you're still around. Uh, what are you going to school for? If you don't mind My me asking. Turn. There! There! I got this. Neurology. Aha. Uh -huh. I feel like... I'm going! That would normally surprise uh -huh. me, which means that I did ask you that before. Because... It was super interesting when I first came across that information from you. My turn! Well, it's I apologize for not remembering, but at the same time, like, it's me. Huh? Where'd she get no, Lost Genesis I... from? It's my turn! My turn! Chuck! There! An opening! And a passion of yours since you were I'm young. Going. Excellent. That's great to hear. No sarcasm, Activate. of course. Uh, I really do think that meteorology <laughs> is definitely one of those uh, Roar! those Everyone okay? areas of study that nobody talks about. I must train even more. I feel like uh, meteorology is one of the rarest oh, areas what of study a wonderful I've, looking treasure chest. I've ever heard. Of. Uh, Kurt, is this good for you? Yeah. Kurt's joined the 3000 Strength Club. Well done. Ready. Uh, watch my collar gauge is filling up mighty slow. Hmm. Hey ya! Fine. What a passionate foe! Uh, yeah! I'm up. Um, are there multiple ways to use? Meteorology? That's kind of a weird question to ask. Uh, but... It's down! Um, I know somebody Turn! who... went to school for... Let's go. Um, there! Well... An opening. I don't remember what they went to school for. I got this! But, uh, it had to yeah. do with, you know, like, environmental science, it's basically. My turn. And about uh, various things regarding that, Arcus, and uh, she went into Take this. the oh my now. gosh, that a ton of damage. It's mine. Um, air quality field, there. and I, I thought that was really cool because she she actually joined uh, Arcus, a writing activate. group that we were a part of. Let's go. And in that writing group, I got to learn Roar. about all kinds of things that I've, you know, never heard of, like fracking, <laughs> for example, uh, <laughs> which is uh, a very curious uh, ah. place of industry. And, you know, I never would have learned, you know, any of that stuff without sure. her joining that writing group because she ah. was uh, a scientist working with air quality. But, uh, it was interesting that like <laughs> her it. field kind of just branched out yeah. into so many different areas of expertise, I suppose. Let's go. Uh, there's a few. You want to use it for getting warnings out and such. Okay. Okay. So you're going to be to uh, 
to simplify things all? for me. You, you kind of want to be all on the right. lookout Got for <laughs> like, nice. um, like hurricanes, maybe even earthquakes. <laughs> I grew a little. Stats uh, updated. As technology That's gets how it's done. stronger. Uh, you know, gale force winds and stuff. I got that right. Hey -ya! Ready. Yep, all right. Ha, ha. I am understanding. It's uh it, it also throws you for a little bit of a little bit of a loop because, you know, meteorology. First thing that comes to mind is <laughs> meteors and asteroids and things like that. But nope, it has nothing to do with that. <laughs> oh dear! All about the weather. A daunting. Foe. Why they don't call Let's it weatherology? I don't know. Sevenfold. What is the sevenfold? Aha! See, now you. You. I think we're finally going to get rid of this Recuria. I think we're in a decent spot where it's not needed anymore. And we're going to finally give you Impede 3. Shit! Ha! You've also considered Storm Chasing? Oh my gosh. Uh, my only experience with that is like those TV shows where they go chasing tornadoes and things like that. But just based off of that, you gotta be a crazy sucker fool to be careful. wanting to that do some strong. storm chasing. My goodness. That, <laughs> uh... You know, they, they say that uh, being a crab fisherman is... Oh, a treasure chest. Or crab catcher. I, I don't know what they, they're technically called. Crab catcher, whatever. Uh, is like the most dangerous job. But being a storm chaser? That's insane to me. Galisto. All right, this is for... Uh, frankly, women. We'll give that to you. You might give your mom a heart attack with that one. <laughs> give, like, everybody that knows you a heart attack with that one. Storm chaser, man. My goodness. Let's uh, speed it up a tiny bit here. Alright, where does this go? Be glad I saved. What the heck is that? <laughs> the crest of Ouroboros and a picture of the fool and Mishi. Uh, that's evil Mishi, but why would someone paint that here? And the picture is project projected with magic, no less. Doesn't look like it's any craft of Erebonia, in which case. 
Somehow this reminds me of something we saw in the Infernal Castle two years ago. Yep. Dino and Leo drew something like that. Uh, they're just for fun. Yep. Ah uh, yes, I remember. Seems like forever ago. So they liked, uh, so they liked clowning around. Yeah, but this is a little different. How to put it, you can tell that whoever drew this uh, has malicious intentions. One of them's holding a knife. How about that? Instructor, could I be on the team for the next battle? You know, are you sure? Not an unreasonable request. She's familiar with the opponents we'll be facing. The fool really got on my nerves uh, ever since what happened at Orcus Tower. But it's Mariabel I have to settle the score with. Not just for personal reasons, either. I'm representing the SSS, too. Her feelings towards Crossbell and, the, and determination to turn things around for the land she betrayed. Well, you might feel that way. Ellie and the other SSS members uh, would be happy to hear that you're so determined to take on their enemy. Okay, Yuna, you're in. But Mariabel is still in anguish, and she'll be accompanied by an enforcer whose true motives are still unclear. I get that this hits close to home for you, but you have to be extra careful. Don't put yourself at risk. Right. Understood. Oh, I actually thought we were going to have to go into like these satellite rooms and disable the barrier and junk and it was just going to be obnoxious. But no. Straight to battle. Oh, it looks like we dropped some frames at some point. Let me uh, mark that real quick. I'll, uh, I'll save again that way, you know, there's no time lost. Or as little time as possible. Okay, um, you know, already in the squad because I was anticipating this. Are we going to get some backstory on Campanella? I've been wanting some backstory on him for a while. So you've survived the fourth rivalry after all. Color me impressed. I guess the little prince just couldn't measure up. Given that he had the fortress's power, he should have had at least a 60% chance of winning. Oh well. And knowing Shirley, she would have gone all out when it came to battle. Well, moving on. How do you care for our artistic embellishments? We figured this place could use some touching up. Is this all just a game to you? You two really are the worst. I see McBurn's not with you. Even so, I can sense him. He's waiting for us somewhere in this fortress. My, how perceptive! Those senses of yours are impressively sharp. Perhaps it's something you picked up from being the sacrifice. It seems like McBurn has his own things he wants to take care of. But I've gotta say, he's been real fired up since you're running at Orcus Tower. We promise not to play too rough. If you're curious, why don't you go check up on him yourselves after we're done here? Well, assuming you managed to make it past the Jade Rook too, of course. Your words mean nothing. You don't even have any intention of taking this battle seriously. It sounds like they're only going to do the bare minimum to fuel the rivalry. That's right. The more I understand how the rivalries work, the more intrigued I am. They're very well designed. They're actually the perfect reference for my Ars Magna research. So please, don't hold back. I'll need every little bit of data I can get from you. You really are the worst. You may be an Anguis, just like the Steel Maiden was, but you're nothing like her. Oh my, I'm terribly sorry if I offended you. I considered dropping in to bid her farewell, but... Since we weren't especially close, I decided it wasn't my place. To be honest, though, I'm a little surprised McBurn didn't stop by. Who knows? Maybe he already said his goodbyes. I'm sure our other members outside of Erebonia would have liked to pay their respects, too. 
Oh well. That's just how things go sometimes. I've got a question for you two. It might be a little late to be asking, but what happened to taking back your Phantasmal Blaze plan? Ooh. Hmm? And why would you possibly be interested in that little SSS fangirl? It's because the SSS got wrapped up in it that I want to know. And now that we're on the topic, there are a bunch of things I just don't get about you. You go around pressing people's buttons and making evil grins, but I don't get the feeling you're as much of a jerk as you let on. And on top of that, people say you've looked exactly the same for the past decade. What even are you? Oh? Could he be a homunculus like me and Milliam? Nah. His facial expressions, the malice behind his grin, it all seems way too human. I don't get the feeling he's an immortal either. And you, Mariabelle. Let's forget the fact that you're a scummy traitor for a moment. Why the heck did someone as self-absorbed as you swear allegiance to the Grandmaster? I wondered that about Vita, too. And even the Steel Maiden! She was a proud knight. Why would she serve such a group? <laughs> Aren't the Enforcers free to do whatever, too? If they want to leave the group, Ouroboros doesn't try to stop them at all! What kind of evil organization works like that? The Guild's been wondering that for a while now, too. The Steel Maiden went off and did her own thing, and Sharon's quit completely. Not just them, either. Joshua, Ren, Blue Blanc, the late Blade Lord, and one other I've heard about. If you add Vita, too, then that's a lot of your group that's gone AWOL. Yet here you are, acting like it's no big deal. This shit don't add up. Your whole group just doesn't act like a team at all. It's like... How do I put it? Ouroboros is an organization comprised of people who work to further the Grandmaster's goals. But at the same time, your members are also part of some bigger experiment. Huh? That's it! Wait, damn it, Egret! Why you gotta steal my thunder like that? <laughs> wow! Those are some serious leaps of logic right there. But maybe this was bound to happen at some point. That's right. The Burl and Crossbell's fate being swallowed by the Empire, the SSS's findings, the Gospel Plan. Anyone who cared to put together all these pieces should have been able to realize what was truly going on. <laughs> but it certainly is surprising that it was you of all people who figured it out. Was it Mr. Ash and Chevalier's lessons that helped you hone that intuition? No. To be honest, I'm just as surprised. It actually makes perfect sense. She has the perspective of both Crossbell and the Empire. And the will to never give up. It's thanks to both Instructor Reen's ability to bring out the best in people, and Yuna's own determination that she's come so far. If Reen is the core of Class 7, then maybe Yuna is the bridge that links Class 7 to the world. W whoa there! I think you're giving me way too much credit. Relax, Gaius. Alright, relax. I'm just trying to get as much info out of them as I can. Knowing them, they're just gonna get in our way, say something vague, and then vanish. You're standing against us right now because you feel like it. But I'm fighting back for the sake of those who believe in the future! I have no idea what Ouroboros is planning after the Great Twilight's over. But whatever it is, we'll put a stop to it. Just like we're going to stop you now! Wow, not bad. Yuna... You tell him, girl. Well said. I'm proud of you, Yuna. My, that was absolutely splendid! Yuna Crawford. I must admit, I didn't expect such a fine diamond in the rough from the city I left behind. Of course, it was Thor's Class 7 that cut and polished her. And thanks for that excellent little speech of yours, I think I'll actually go all out for once.
dipped. Of course they've got backup. Brace yourselves, everyone. We're gonna have to give this everything we've got. Let's begin, shall we? We were only planning to have a little fun with you. But seeing as you won't stop going on about togetherness and bonds, maybe it'd be fun to see what happens if I thin your ranks a little. <laughs> How about this? If you show me a good time, I'll throw in a little bonus. I'll share a juicy tidbit about the society, if you win. Only information the Grandmaster has permitted me to share, of course. I want to hear you fight, and struggle, and cry out in pain! Are all of you Ouroboros people actually insane? You want a fight? I'll give you a fight! Class 7, prepare for battle. Don't be fooled by their tricks. Fight them with everything you have, with the power of all our friends and allies! Right! right. Welcome, one and all. Enjoy this carnival of pleasure and pain. <laughs> the harder you try, the more fun it'll be. Oh, oh, okay. I, uh, I don't have to fight those things in the back there. I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be a disgusting fight. Uh, now it's just going to be a suck of food fight. Uh, all right, Campanella dies First, um, based off of what I've learned about Mary Bell and previous encounters with her, um, she does a lot of damage, but she's not particularly threatening. Air quotes. I'm up. Uh, but I'm sure I haven't seen everything. Um, but we can play this on the black tortoise formation. The, uh, the safe side. Roar! <laughs> it's down! It's mine! How about this? Frozen prison! You gotta be kidding me. Come forth, my beloved creations! You gotta be kidding me. Ha! Take this! <sighs> Your body. Now! It's mine! My turn. Okay. Uh, yeah. Campanella needs to die first. For sure. Uh, we have a lot of scanning to do. Which is rough times. <coughs> it's my turn! Alright, green. Ha! Go handle those. It's down! It's mine! It's my turn! I'm up! That'll scope these little guys. <laughs> Here's a present! Go, go, go! I'm going! Alright. I'll leave it to you. I'll handle it. Um... Yeah, actually, I cast the wrong spell right there. Take this! There! Oh. Yeah! Can't forget he has. Thank you. Evasion, though. Alright, yes, we did uh, analyze these guys. I got this. Uh, we should probably do something here. Ooh, not bad at all. Uh, I was hoping Emma was still in here, but uh, not bad at all. Um, I want something a little bit cheaper, but seize let's go victory, with this. noble rise. It gives uh, sure. A little bit of stuff. Continue our battle scoping. Ha! Actually, want to read Campanella's. 
Ouroboros is enforcer number zero with his own secret agenda. Seems to mess with people just for fun. Yeah. <laughs> Help me out. <laughs> Sure. Mm, last ah! battle scope. Third anguish of Ouroboros. Alchemy runs deep in her blood. Wields a pole arm. That's a pole arm? Looks like a staff. Uh, can sprout black wings from her back. Let's go. Oh, you are. Alright. Uh, uh, yep. Yeah. My turn. My turn. All right. Hmm. You handle that all by yourself Time over there, Kurt. Time to switch seats. Shuffle, shuffle. I shall go. All right. Everybody's doing just switch. fine. <laughs> Leave it to me. Let's go. Oh. Guess Marcus, I should take care activate. of you. That would probably be a little helpful. Uh, sure. I don't know what she's my doing. My soul is one with my sword. I believe we saw this one. Already. Light. Yes, we did. <laughs> Help me out now. Weak. <sighs> yeah. I've got you. <laughs> You're sending shivers down my spine. Yes. Okay. Uh, Tempanella getting that HP is rough times. Huh? There. I don't think I've ever cast this ever. Alrighty then. Sure. Okay, so Mary Bell's most likely going to go turbo here. What are you casting, Campanella? A target circle on anybody. Um. Hold fast! Black Tortoise Formation! We'll play it safe, I just got this. in case. We might not want to play it there. <laughs> yeah! I've got you! Huh. <gasps> Witness the power of the Wellspring Alchemist! Yes! The power. Huh? It's my turn! It's your turn. It's my turn! And... no. Do I want to reduce Campanella? I guess I... Come through! <laughs> <laughs> what I tell you, fun, huh? I'll show you the wonders of alchemy! Come forth, my darlings! It's time to play! <laughs> Here I come! Curious? Santa! <laughs> Sleep tight now! Very well. Hey, Mana Dryad. Oops, oops, oops. It's my turn. No, if I play this right. Oh. Arcus, activate. Might be able to do sure. some sick, nasty damage to Campanella before he goes all out. You're mine! <laughs> Dang it, we didn't get the... Now I'll show you what I can really do! I'm up! Let's see... Listen. Campanella's gonna Evan play Crystal. 
I'm up! Uh, 132. Okay, yeah. Campanelli, you need to die first. Roar! <laughs> oh, looks like we got a, a delay on him. Arcus, activate! Time to switch seats! Shuffle, shuffle! <laughs> do it! Absolutely, <laughs> I couldn't do anything. Let's go! Uh, he, uh, he played me well right there. <clears throat> now! It's mine! Whoa! <sighs> I'm going! Arcus, activate! I got this. Now. It's down! I've got uh. you! <laughs> Not bad. By flowing mana. My turn. Oh, are you casting something? <laughs> Impressive! It's my turn! Um. Huh? <laughs> Rawr! Uh. We linked up with Kurt. Might be able to do some shenanigans here. Yeah! Let's go! If you please. Ah, oh, it wasn't Let's enough go. after all. Yeah! <laughs> Very impressive indeed. Now let's continue onward. Okay. Uh, I still have yet to see Campanella do his um, his move where he swaps places with a party member. That's the, the only reason I want him dead. I mean, the Nightmare Shuffle is annoying, but that move is, is mean. Ooh, Seraphic Ring on Ash is pretty nice. All right, got it. I must train even. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> kind of my my backup bot. <laughs> nice. That's how it's done. <laughs> Jack of all I'm trades, as it were. Now right, give me this information. We did it. <sighs> How'd you like that? Dear me, how unexpected. Oh, I even used the skills I copied from the Iron Bloods, but it didn't make a difference. I won't let you. I'm coming too. My, you're not as easy to shake off as those simpletons from the SSS, are you? Come on now. Do you seriously think you can capture us? No, I doubt we'd be able to. And honestly, I wish I could just tell you to get out of our sight. Further, attacking wounded opponents would bring no honor. But you said you'd give us more info. So it's time to pay up. What the hell happened with the Phantasmal Blaze plan? Let's start with that! Oh, fine. The truth is, the plan is still in effect. In fact, it's nearly at its end. Once the rivalry of the Seven has been completed, our objective will be met. <gasps> How come Vita wasn't even aware that your goal had changed? Well, that's because she just wanted to lift the curse through those pseudo-rivalries she was setting up. We, on the other hand, are here to witness the reformation of the Great One. Though, to be honest, we don't actually care whether or not all its pieces stick together properly. Wh what do you mean? In other words, your goal isn't to claim the two Septarians. But rather, you intend to return the power divided among the Divine Knights back to one. And it doesn't matter to you if it's properly reformed or not? That's right. We don't care if they disappear either, the same way the Septarian of Mirage did. 
Observing the path each of the seven Septarians take when dropped into mankind's hands in this possible world. That is our goal. The driving force behind the Grandmaster's plan. <sighs> possible world? What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> I'm afraid those who are still bound by the shackles of this world wouldn't be able to comprehend our mission. Not everyone can be on the same level as Professor Epstein, after all. For now, don't worry your pretty little heads about it. Just focus on the rivalries ahead. Rufus is waiting for you on the top floor, by the by. Oh, and he's got Alberic with him. You might want to be careful with that one. <sighs> the Chief of the Gnomes is there too? So they've been hiding them here in the fortress. In all honesty, you lot aren't half bad. You exceeded our expectations, at the very least. McBurn might finally be able to accomplish his long-held plans if he's up against you guys. I'm sure he'd appreciate it if you went and paid him a visit. Regardless of how this tale ends, Ouroboros will carry on with the Grandmaster's plan. We will soon move on to the third stage of the Orpheus final plan. Who knows? I may just be lucky enough to encounter some of you again. Some place or other. Oh, and by the way, Yuna dear, would you mind passing a message from me to Ellie and your other friends at the SSS? Please tell them. We'll meet again someday. Oh, and that I'll be rooting for Crossbell's independence. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Still don't really know what's going on with Ouroboros, but seems like maybe we'll get some answers here at the end. And uh, her her uh, mention of Professor Epstein right there was very interesting. Uh, only in the sense of we were talking about the Grand Master, and then she just name drops Professor Epstein. Uh, probably because he just knows a lot about artifacts, but there could be more there. I, I don't think Professor Epstein is the Grandmaster, but I feel like that's what the game is throwing a tiny kernel of a hint right there. Uh, nobody's name dropped the Grandmaster in, in any of the games that I have played. So, or at least any of the games that I've played with the content I have seen. Uh, I don't know what to make of all this. I won't lie. That was a lot of shocking information to take in. And Professor Epstein seems to be involved somehow, too. Uh, to think I assumed he was simply another historical figure famous for first harnessing orbital energy half a century ago. And what could they have possibly meant by this possible world? Yeah, all that was uh, all that was really overwhelming. But the one thing I can get behind is focusing on what we're doing at the moment. Can't believe they even made sure to bring up McBurn, which means he's somewhere in this fortress, just as we suspected. Well, we've got to survive whatever comes at it, comes at us, and live to tell the tale to the others. Looks like Yuna has a message she has to pass on. Kind of wish uh, that she just tell tell them herself, but oh well. I can't wait to speak with Lloyd and Estelle again. That's one more reason we've got to make sure we return safely. First, we have to defeat the Jade Rook and Black Alberic. Seems this elevator goes up to the top floor. We could go straight there or take a short break at the garden. I feel like we should probably strike while the iron's hot. Honestly, I'm surprised they gave up all this information voluntarily. Do you suppose it might be a red herring? No, I'd say it's a farewell gift of sorts. Yuna made quite an impression on them. I got kind of hot-headed there and spoke without thinking. Really, you're making a way too big a deal of it. 
I can't stand all this attention on me, okay? That's classic Yuna. Alright, are we staying or are we going? Top floor of the Imperial Fortress will be our next stage. The fifth rivalry awaits. Sparkles. Um, it looks like we're fine for a battle. I'm trying to go over here. Um, there was something I want to... Oh, right. Uh, earlier... Oh, we got that. We also got his new... Or, or his original hair, which is kind of cool. I, uh... I kind of want to rock this, but I'm not going to. Let's go ahead and save. Oh uh, yeah, this kind of goes back to what was discussed in Crossbell. What do they mean by uh, this possible world? Emma, let me introduce you to the Crossbell arc. <laughs> um, they've already, I mean, they've, um, uh, that was in Trails in the Sky the Third as well. Uh, you know, there being other possible worlds and dimensions and things like that. So, none of that is uh, off the wall for me so far. Hey, yeah! <laughs> Wide open! Now! It's mine! I need to. My turn. Drop links. It's down. An opening. Sure. Battle scope. It's my turn. Arcus, activate. Take this. I should die yeah. to this. Oh, did we win? A spiraling pathway, just like in the Infernal Castle. Or the Grawl. Good. Ha! Ha! That means we only have one path. Upward. That is until we have a new path. Sideways. I think I've heard this music before. Possibly in the Grawl, actually. Look at that. Sideways. Hmm, did I fight that guy already? Or didn't I? A powerful foe. Ready yourselves. I don't know. I could check. That would require time. I, I think I fought that guy already. Probably did because I fought this guy. It looks strong. Watch out. All right, looks like treasure chests. What could possibly be over there? But okay. Hey, uh, sir. Looks like a real tough one. In here, I believe that is um the wolf, yeah, Albion Wolf. One sixty. That's uh, still not enough. Oh, that's where he got it from. Hmm. Sadly, there's nothing to get rid of there. We'll give it to you. Looks like I went the right way, but... Oh, you know what? Maybe that other path was blocked off. 
Although that doesn't make any sense either. A bit confused. Okay, yeah, it was blocked off. Glad they're giving me all these Zerum capsules. I need them. Uh, there's a couple things actually that I haven't done. Buttons, buttons. Um, I want to see how much. Oh, I don't think I can do that. Yeah. A couple of uh, these I didn't see. Okay. Lushi. Those two. Those two, and that person. Let's see. Where can I see how much you material I have? There we go, we have 20. Hey, IBN Haj. I think I it's might big. have Let's had a careful. possibility of saying your name correctly there. Maybe? just going to be a discussion. It's not going to be a fight. The store is quite overwhelming, isn't it? And solemn as well, as if we enter the site of some ancient ritual. Green Crow. You feel it? Yeah. We're not making, it, making a secret of it. One of the last two remaining shards of the great power divided into seven is just on the other side. Not to mention the power stolen from the Argent Knight. Ilium. No doubt it's Rufus with his Auric Knight behind that door. The Black Albrecht, the chief of the Black Workshop. I see. Green Crow, I understand most of the heavy lifting for this rivalry will fall to you, however. Let us help you with the pre preliminary battle. Of course, I'll be counting on you. Glad you volunteered. Uh, we'd have to call the whole thing off without you. We'll all offer you our support during the rivalry too. Now yeah, let's make this the worst day of that rotten governor general's life. All right. I knew Elisa was gonna um, need to be in there. I was gonna swap her at some point, but I forgot. Uh, oh, I gotta be, uh, attack members. Go ahead and, uh, rest up. We're gonna check to see if we can make some sort of... Um... EX Orb. We need 32. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna do uh, another save here. Might not be a half bad place to mark. 